Hey. Hey. Is this thing working? It's been a while since I used it. My fingernails are dirty because I've been gardening. Ha! <laughs> okay. We're good. <sighs> Took three days, three people, a bunch of digging, a bunch of wrenches, but we got our first greenhouse. Man, this thing is it's crazy. It's been a dream of mine to have a greenhouse for a long time. And I, I, I did a lot of research beforehand trying to figure out what was the best greenhouse to get, what could I expect out of a greenhouse, just a whole bunch of stuff. And I, I had a really hard time finding information. So I kind of decided that what I wanted to do was make make a series of videos that would kind of help people maybe interested in get, getting a greenhouse or just interested in them in general um, I'm not really sure how this winter is gonna go I live in zone 8a and you know we have realistic expectations but we're gonna talk about building the greenhouse we're gonna talk about planting in the greenhouse warming it cooling it you know all that fun stuff um, some of it not as fun some of it is very fun but you know these are th these are all questions that I had like you know how cold does a greenhouse get at night um, how hot does it get during the day how to cool it off how to heat it up what's the most cost-effective ways what works what doesn't but more importantly like what's the data you know what I mean like what is what is it gonna do you know, like it was this cool and then it was this hot. Not, I'm not necessarily interested in, oh, it was negative 20 degrees and it was this in the greenhouse. And, you know, I've got a bunch of heaters in here and all that stuff because I'm not really looking to do that. I want to just keep it cheap, keep it simple, keep it easy, and, you know, be realistic about what you want to get. You know, am I going to grow pineapples in here? No, I'm for sure not going to grow pineapples. That would just be. I feel like that would be an uphill battle um, but there's you know within the right seasons and the right times and stuff like that I think there's a lot of things that we can plant in the greenhouse in my particular zone that would help and hopefully maybe some of this will transfer over into your zone wherever you're at whatever you're doing I mean that's the important thing is you know looking in for a specific zone is gonna be tough but you know just kind of getting maybe a realization you know is if I'm in seven will that bump me up to an zone eight and back and forth you know will it take me to you know if I'm in zone five will I be in a zone six how can I do this how can I do that you know there, there was just a lot of different questions I had and um, it was a big leap to get this greenhouse and now that we have it we're gonna use it and it's completely empty right now um, the only thing that's in here is it's bare bones it's just got soil and a small path so we're gonna talk about all that and you know we'll get started and do the best we can and you know if you guys have questions about greenhouses and stuff you can feel free to ask me I'm gonna be honest I might not be the best to answer some of your questions just yet because I'm learning and you know it's like we say on the backyard gardens podcast we all learn together you know I, I learned by watching you you learn by watching me you know different social media outlets and researching you know everybody practices you know or tries something new and that's how we learn so that's what we want to do but we are going to try and do our best to just chronicle everything that we're doing here talk about the greenhouse and what's good and not you know at the current time it's the beginning of fall so we're still getting warm days the nights are starting to cool off so at this point what we're doing is we're just watching the temperatures at night because you know we still have plenty of time well in all reality plenty of time but you know a cold can come up quick so we have time though to keep an eye on it and just kind of start to get a feel for how the temperature changes in here at night um, I can go ahead and tell you first thing is when I put the panels on the top it was 
75 maybe 80 degrees outside and it got up to just about 100 in here so yeah she gets hot in the daytime and so far at night one night and it didn't even get to heat up all day it was about five degrees warmer at night but the jury is still way far out on that nothing is set in stone yet but you know give us a like and subscribe and just stay tuned because we're going to go through this thing one step at a time. I'm going to talk about building it next and then, you know, I'll have some stuff planted and, you know, we'll talk about harvesting and what to, what I've planted and when to plant it and all that stuff. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys like it and, you know, let me know if you have any questions or anything you want me to talk about because this is going to be probably a pretty long series where a lot of things will be talked about. So... Um, until then, we'll catch you guys later.